the meaning with my eyes don't see. I can never forget the nineties. I will say I can never forget. I will never forget twenty twenty two. I did play good news with Steve when he was singing that song. It was revealed to him. Let me know what's in my hands, don't see. Yeah. You know, this is my New Year's resolution. Even though I started at the 31st. What can I say? The best time to start is now. It's about time we pick things from the left up. It's about time to get rid of those stuff talk. It's about time for us we stop giving excuses on why we're not able to do things. So it was the 31st of December 2022. And I had this urge this morning to continue my YouTube channel in 2023. My, I and my friends have discussed this in the past and I'm like, I'm going to continue the time is right, when time is right, always postponing, postponing, when I have a better form, when I have better resources. But this morning I just had it hurt and I thought to myself, there's no better time than now. Like, the hurt is there, the, the, the excitement is there, I have a little bit of free time for the next day week, why not use it for what I'm still going to do later. So, that's what brought me here today. I know it's quite unusual, it's quite unusual to start your resolution on the 31st of December. Like, resolutions are made for the new year, right? Well, I believe the contrary. That will still pose this with you in the new year. But I feel it's very significant to me that I started immediately... I wanted to, I did not want to wait. I did not wait. I did not deceive myself. The next year, I'll do it now. As, as per usual. Please, pardon if you hear any um, loud noise because I live close to the airport and things. Things land like every 20, 20 minutes, I think. The planes are passing! So, yeah, I mean. Never ever really done a like a proper introduction like it's about to get to know me. Hi, I'm Lucy. Blah 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 blah. So I'm going to give you guys that thing today. Just that. Start again. Again. So I'm going to forget that. Hi, I'm Lucy today. I'm an anatomist. A medical student, a hair enthusiast, and welcome to my YouTube channel. Hope I did that right. If I didn't, we'll take what to get though. We'll take what I'm not doing it again. I imagined for my first YouTube video in 2023 because I have some previous videos. I, I purposely didn't name my um, channel A Ask Witness. This is mostly I usually talk about. I purposely made it like to be a subject just the parts not the whole thing because i knew that sometime in the future i want to do more than just sharing a apps or posting a videos so i guess right now in that future for 2023 i wanted my first video to be about mostly my life in 2022 obstacles that i overcame things i went through Waiting my eyes see. Waiting my eyes see for 2022. Oh, mm -hmm. <gasps> thank God. Thank God. So, here's how we started. I recently, I graduated, not recently anymore, boy. A new set of going after me. And um, in 2022, I graduated from the university. I was a student of anatomy in Alabama and Bantry University. So I had my convocation at that graduation ceremony December um, January 2022. I finished December and graduated January. So you know pretty much when you graduate, you're now with the outside world. You're now facing the outside world. So I was it was about figuring out the next step for me. I thought I knew what I wanted. 
because as at that December 2021 where I finished the planes are passing as at December 2021 when I finished from school I had already been given admission at Daniel Pro National Institute in Ukraine so my plan was immediately after um, clearance because after graduation you still have to do some clearance you know to submit my project I've not, I've not done that i was preparing for travels already by i guess my plan was by february i'm there i'm studying in fact i was preparing for a national exam i'm studying that was my plan but you know we just make plans. We don't know what will happen the next day. We can't actually tell that this is what will happen the next day. This is what will happen in a few years' time. In a few minutes' time, in fact. About three places has landed in the space of two minutes. I'm tired. I'm tired. Anyways. <laughs> that was my plan. You know, study medicine after uni. So... We all know about the Russian and Ukraine war, regardless of what the media might say. They say it's not the worst of us, they say it's a war. It's a war, from what I can see, from what videos I've seen, some people that were there that experienced the fear of it. But as at January, I had the, you know, got my um, letter for my visa. Then I noticed that they didn't send my visa after, it was meant to be within a week. That I will be receiving my visa. They didn't send it, and I kept asking now what is going on because I live in Lagos and where I went for the visa interview was in Abuja. It didn't quite make sense to me. I kept asking that what is going on, why can't I receive my visa? Why haven't I received it? That is when it came to a notice that it seems like um, the you know Russian troops were moving towards the Ukrainian border, towards the Russian Ukraine border. So at that point, I was getting suspicious that hope is not a war about to break out. <sighs> so, let me just cut the long story short. So, we all heard the news. And we still are still hearing the news because it's still happening. That's about the war. So, that's how the plan to open traveling to Ukraine was cancelled. It was a really sad time in my life. But you know, in everything you give things, right? Like, as Christians, that's what we're taught to do. And engaging the Bible, that's what we ought to do. So, um, my I told my parents, I broke the news to my dad about the war and I won't be able to travel and that. I thought it was going to be sad for him. But turns out, was pretty fine with it. My parents were just happy that I had not gone before the war happened. Because it was around the period I was going that I was going to leave. That's when the war happened. That's when they released my visa. I would have um I would have been in Ukraine during the war. And you know, the way people were struggling to come back home, come back to Nigeria and then go back to their students were struggling to go back to their various countries and some students are still in Poland or Germany. I'm just grateful because when I talk to people who were in Ukraine at that period, it was a very really dark period of my life. I thought it was a dark period of my own life. For me, they had not even gone there. Me, they had not even lived their life. Me, they did not experience the war. For the people who experienced the war, it was a really horrible period of their life. But we thank God, like, people are, most people who are back home now have found ways to find peace. At that point of my life, I blocked everybody out. Every single person. Except my family at home. I was just sad and thinking, uh, the money we spent, we had paid school fees if I even went there. Which the, a lot of money on this, uh, because I had to travel to Abuja, the money of flight, all those things. But it's gone, it's gone, it's gone. We can't run about things we lost, right? It's just money anyway. Money will come from No money will come. So, 
after then for a while I just continued then I started using Puma continued doing started doing some design stuff get myself busy then is it April one of my dad's friends introduced me to a university so I applied for medicine to that university where I am right now I applied for medicine and I was admitted like one good turn. I don't I didn't really the code to you. Don't say one good turn is not the And that's just not 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 what we're talking about here. <laughs> Let me use this Bible verse. God turns now everything meant for evil for good. I was just grateful. Like within a month, within Okay, two months approximately because it was April, like that one in February, it was April that was giving admission to the next school. The school I'm in right now, God. So, although I didn't get to Belize until November, that's when I arrived here, I was doing like online school for one and a half semester. Yeah, so I am in my third semester, by the way, I came here to finish my second semester. Well, so I guess this is pretty much the end of the story. Though there are lots of things that happen, but like I said, I just woke up this morning and I decided, you know, that YouTube video I wanted to make, I will make it today. So I didn't actually write out. Normally I would have a sketch of what I want to see in front of me, but I'm just pretty much going with the flow. Oh, my dance. Yeah, I'm pretty much going with the flow. <sighs> In other words, I'm just really grateful for this year. It was tough. I'm not gonna lie, it was tough. It was tough. I, but I'm very, very happy this year. Grateful for everything. By the way, this is the first time I'm spending Christmas and New Year's away from my house in Lagos. I'm a big girl now. Thank you for the happiest year of my life. Now, one of my friends said she hates the thank you for the happiest year of my life trend. Because like this year she was like this year was horrible. What are you guys thankful for? Well, you know, when you're in crisis, you experience this peace that surpasses all understanding. People are wondering, why are you so people? Why are you laughing? It doesn't just make any sense. But God just gives us that peace. And yeah, so you have no, no choice but to be thankful that you are going through hell. So this is the end of my video.